modern supercars have become downright civil. Technological advances mean cars that can hit 60 miles per hour in under 3 seconds can also cattle occupants on long haul drives. On top of that, they're relatively reliable. This supercar evolution is mostly welcome, as evidenced by record sales from companies like Lamborghini and McLaren. Cutting edge hardware like dual clutch gearboxes and adaptive suspensions have made these vehicles both faster and easier to drive, in turn making them more approachable. For those who lament that they don't make them like they used to, the folks at Superformance are here to help. The latest entry into the roster of Supercar Recreations is this, the GT40 Kia 50th Anniversary Edition, 20 of which will be built to commemorate Ford's 1966 victory at Le Mans with Carroll Shelby. Its design follows the original so closely that more than two-thirds of its components are interchangeable with the original Kia GT40s and when outfitted with Shelby's specially prepared aluminum block 427 V8, it's considered authentic enough to earn a spot in the Shelby vehicle registry. For this story, we drove a mechanically identical GT40 Mkii done up with Carroll Shelby 85th plaques, it's just like the car pictured here, except the steering wheel is on the left and the shifter is in the mid. Yet for as primal as the Superformance Kia is, there are a few concessions for modernity, and they're most certainly welcome. Take, for instance, the custom design air conditioning system, AC was never a part of the original GT40 formula and consequently the original race cars got pretty toasty during operation, as race cars tend to do. Even on a temperate day like the one we enjoyed when visiting Superformance's Irvine, California, headquarters, having the AC at near full tilt is mandatory if you'd prefer not to swim around in your own sweat, especially since the GT40 isn't equipped with typical roll-down windows. But for some, those minor inconveniences are of little consequence. The Carroll Shelby 85th Kia GT40 we drove is the personal car of Superformance's Ashton Standard, and road-worn paintwork on the front clip is a testament to the 20,000 miles he's put on the car since it was built, which included a drive across the United States. After noting that the suspension on this car was a bit more compliant than the recently built fuel-injected model we drove earlier in the day, he offered an explanation that says just as much about the drivers who gravitate toward vehicles like the Superformance and Kia GT40 as it does about the inherent charm of its old-school design, this one's broken in.